Well, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for checking out the V4U Beachbody Coach Sneak Peek again today. We are on day four. It's Thursday. We're almost to the end of the week. I hope everybody's been getting some good information out of what we've been sharing, both videos from me, videos from corporate, and videos from our wonderful other coaches, like Laura, who is joining me today via Zoom from Madison, Wisconsin. Go Badgers! Right, Laura? And I'm even drinking. We just noticed I'm drinking out of my Great Dane. Uh, it's a beer glass. This is only water. That is a local awesome restaurant in Madison. So that was, that was a funny coincidence. Let me grab a drink. Like. So I wanted Laura to talk to you guys today because Laura is, is somebody who is a very busy professional person who still finds time to do the beach body and coaching business and lo and loves it. We don't expect everybody who signs up to be a beach body coach wanting or having the desire to do it full time be like all in like I am and like Molly was that I interviewed a couple days ago and really want to do this full time. That's not a requirement of being a beach body coach. Many 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 of our coaches are like Laura. They're they're part time. They already have a job that they love but they still find the time to coach and they, and they get something out of coaching. So that is why I wanted you guys to, to get to talk to and hear from Laura a little bit today. So Laura, fill us in on, you know, kind of a little summary, what you were like before you found Beachbody and kind of what brought you to Beachbody. Give us a little background on Laura. Okay. Um, I've always really been into exercise. I mean, going back to doing Jane Fonda workouts on a record album in my living room in oh, high wait, school. A record that's how album? that's how old I am. Yes. Okay. And um, you know, always was into group fitness classes at my YMCA when I was growing up in high school and in college, went to aerobics, um, and then you know, always pretty active with group fitness classes and was doing that pretty regularly. I took up running in like 2009. I started getting really active in some local running groups with some friends of mine and really decided I was going to be a runner, but my body never really agreed with that. Um, it seemed like no matter what, and I never really got to super long distances. I think the most I ever ran was probably eight miles. Um, but something always started hurting. I got shin splints. I got stress fractures. Then I found out I had a pinched nerve in my back. And so running really just wasn't agreeing with me, despite my really liking the camaraderie and the group atmosphere. And that's where a lot of my friends, that's where I met a lot of my friends was through some of these running groups. So the social aspect I always loved, but the actual running was wreaking havoc on my body. I went to physical therapy for months on end. I slipped and fell on ice and got a concussion. I just kind of decided, you know what, this probably isn't for me. I need to find something else to do. Uh, but again, always kind of liked the group exercise component. So I, for a couple of years, I went to a boot camp type class at our local, uh, like, uh, community center at 5:30 in the morning. Did that pretty regularly for several years, and that was like three to four times a week. And I would still try and maybe run on the weekend. But then, about two years ago, um, we got a puppy. Um, he was five months old. That's when we got our second dog at the time, and it just became a virtual impossibility to get out the door, up take, take care of two dogs, get myself up out the door make it to my boot camp. Um, so it just sort of fell off. I wasn't getting there. I was paying goodly amount of money to go, whether I went or not, and found out I was getting there less and less frequently. And quite honestly, I mean, I liked the workouts and I really am good friends with the woman who ran the boot camp, but it was starting to, I don't know, there were, there were components of it that I didn't really always like all of the exercises. And it became an outdoor boot camp in the summer, which was fun, but there was still a lot of running. And again, that was because of my back at the time that was not agreeing with me as much. So um, it was really through this boot camp class that I saw somebody that I went to boot camp with was tagged in a photo for the Wana Fit Club that Sarah Thompson used to run in Wana Key, where I live. Um, I had no idea what that was. I was vaguely familiar with Beachbody. I had 
bought, I think, some Shakeology or something a million years ago when it first came out. Um, I had done turbo kick classes at the health club that I belonged to for years. So I was vaguely aware of some aspects of it, but I really didn't know anything about the company. I didn't know anything about coaching. I really didn't know much about it at all. Um, but anyhow, um, I saw that a couple friends of mine were tagged in one of Sarah Thompson's Want a Fit Club posts on Facebook. I didn't know what that was. So I asked a couple of my boot camp friends, what is this Want a Fit Club? It looked like something right in Wana Key that I didn't know about. Um, they told me it was a free Saturday morning workout at the high school. So I just randomly showed up. I went by myself. I didn't really know who was going to be there. I didn't know Sarah Thompson. I just showed up. There were a few people. I recognized a few people. Wanakee's not that big of a community. There were a few people from my neighborhood or uh, nearby neighborhood that I recognized that were regularly going to the Wana Fit Club. So that was kind of it. I don't even remember what the first workout was, the very first Wanna Fit Club that I went to, but I started trying to go to that a little more regularly. That must have been in like March or April of 2014. Um, and within just like two weeks, I two or three weeks, I just kind of reached out to Sarah Thompson, who is my coach. Um, I didn't know her before, but I just kind of reached out to her and I was like, oh, I like this Wanna Fit Club. I like these workouts that I, I need to find something to do. I've kind of fallen off of my, you know, workout, group workout exercises early in the mornings are just not working for me. So I started a conversation with her. She kind of, you know, we just sort of chatted. We hadn't really talked that much in person, but this was all by Facebook Messenger. We just kind of chit chatted and she asked me questions about kind of what are my goals? What do I want to achieve? And just by talking to her, we decided that 21 Day Fix would probably be a good program for me to try. And I was game. Uh, I had never been somebody who really, I mean, not since the days of my Jane Fonda workout in high school in my living room, had I really done much in the way of workout videos or DVDs. Um, didn't think that was going to be my thing at all. I, like I said, I'm kind of, I've always been a social exerciser and like the social aspect of being with other people. So I was a little skeptical, but I figured 21 days, I can give it a try. Why not? Um, so I did the complete 21 day fix start to finish. Didn't cheat at all. Followed the food, food plan like a hundred percent that first 21 days. Did the workout every single day. Did the double workouts on that third week. I mean, I was sort of like, if I'm going to try this thing, I'm going to go all in. And I want to see if it really, really works. And you posted um, a bunch of pictures in the gym. And every single day. I mean, and that's, that's, what, I, that's my, what I remember is asking. Yeah. Sarah, yeah and that was Laura really my, <laughs> yeah, that, that was kind of not really my nature either, but I just kind of decided, you know what? I've committed to this thing for 21 days. I'm going to put it out there. I'm going to hold myself accountable and hope other people will hold me accountable too. And little did I know that that really was you know, kind of my entree into coaching and Sarah Thompson, you know, saw that I was doing this every single day. And she said, Laura, you're basically coaching. Look how many people are interested in what you're doing or following what you're doing or saying, holy cow, you're doing great. And I posted my results at the end of 21 days. And in that 21 days, I lost eight pounds and something like 10 inches or something crazy. Wow. I mean, it was, it was nuts. I had never accomplished anything like that in my life and was super happy. Oh, I had, I had bought the challenge pack. So I was, you know, drinking the Shakeology every day and I really, really liked it. Again, didn't think that would necessarily be my thing. I you know, didn't really know if that would be my thing. Would but you say you went into it kind of almost skeptical about the program and like, what were your thoughts? Were you skeptical about Shakeology going into, into it too? Kind of like a shake. Is it really worth it? Yeah, a little bit. You know, the, Everyone looks at it and kind of goes, oh, great, I got to drink, you know, drink this shake. There's, and people think, and myself included, I was like, oh, it's just some protein drink that's, you know, jacked up in price. What is this stuff? Mm -hmm. um, but I tried it and you know what? I really, really liked it. And for me, I'm not a big breakfast eater on weekdays. Like I just don't have time to get up and really make something for breakfast because I got to get my daughter ready for school. I got to get to work. Um, I'm not a big breakfast eater. So I was one of those people that would go all day until I would eat lunch at noon and not having mm -hmm. eaten anything and realized, you know, that wasn't the way to do things. So um, I started drinking my Shakeology every morning, like on the car ride into work. I'd have my little shake, Shakeology with me in the car and be drinking it. You know, I kind of nursed this thing for a little while when I'm at work too and found that 
I had a lot more energy. I stopped drinking soda completely because um, I used to be one of those people hitting the vending machines for a can of soda at 3 p.m. every day or running to Starbucks across the street at 3 p.m. every day or 2 o'clock when I was starting to get tired and still had several hours of work ahead of me. But I found when I was drinking the Shakeology, um, I didn't need any of that junk. I mm -hmm. just what didn't miss soda at all. Um, and so that was kind of what started it for me. And as I was getting into that third week of 21 day fix, Sarah kind of said, Sarah Thompson reached out to me and just kind of said, you know, you should consider coaching. Again, I was like, what, what is this coaching thing? I don't have time to coach. I don't even know what that is. I barely have time to get myself to work and my child to school and spend time with my family. I was like, I don't have time to really do anything for anybody else. But, um, but it was also something that just by sharing every single day of that initial 21 day journey, I got so many people asking me like what I was doing, how did I get those results? What is this? Can you tell me more about it? That, um, you know, Sarah correctly told me you're basically coaching and you have this pool of people who are very interested in what you're doing and who want you to share with them how you did this and what you did. Um, and so I just kind of figured, you know, what have I got to lose? If nothing else, I'm going to get a discount on Shakeology, which at that point I was confident I wanted to continue with, um, because I really, really liked it. And, um, so I sure. did the 21 day fix and with, by the end of that, before the end of that 21 days, I had signed up to be a coach and I started my mm -hmm. first challenge group, the, um, within like a, a couple of weeks. So, you know, I had done the 21 day fix first time through it, decided I was going to do another round of it and just said, who wants to join me? And I had, I don't know, I had like 20 people in my first challenge group. I immediately had a lot of people yeah. interested and in following me. Some people I work with, some friends, some neighbors. Um, so you know, that first challenge group was huge. So you jumped right in. I jumped so right where in. did you, I can't remember if I said this before or not, so Laura is an attorney down in Madison. Yep. Obviously very busy. What do you, what do you, how many hours a week do you think you work? Um, anywhere between 40 to 60, depending on the week. I mean, it's not super crazy, but it's, you know, it's, well, so it's, it's, it's a full-time full -time job. job and then, and then some, a lot of Right, it. right. So and I'll take some work home too, so. Yeah, so so a lot of people who we talk to about coaching and stuff, and they have that desire, which obviously you had to. Hey, I'd like to be able to help some people and pay this forward. Right. You being a busy professional who isn't sitting at her job going, "Boy, I want to do something different." I want to, you know, you, you're happy with your job. Where did you find the time, and how did you kind of how did you do it without it totally, you know, kind of screwing up life? You know, how did how did you get going with it? Where did you find the time with your schedule being so busy? Right. I mean, I think it's just all about prioritizing. We all have the same amount of hours in the day and everyone's busy. Um, you know, I'm at work all day, every day. I don't have time to really pour into you know, my beach body business during the day, but I will say that it did spark some conversation at work. And some of, you know, I would talk with people at lunchtime or they'd see me carrying around my Shakeology and ask me what that was. And so it would spark a little conversation. But for me, the time really was I just would make time for it every evening. I would just carve out a you know small window of time. I mean, not huge. I wasn't spending hours. It was really, and like I said, I think because I had posted my journey that full 21 days, it sparked a lot of interest initially of other busy professionals. I had a lot of lawyer friends in my first challenge group who were like, hey, well, Lara did this. I, I want to figure out how to do this too. Um, and when I kind of explained to people, like, I don't have time to drive a half hour to a gym, work out for an hour, drive another half hour home. When I explained to people, that's the beauty of the program. 30 minutes, you do it whenever you have time. You can do it in the morning. You can do it at your lunch hour. You can do it in the evening, just finding time. Um, and the same thing with the coaching. It's just sort of like, I find little pockets of time where I have them. I might be on my phone during my lunch break at work and reaching out to people or responding to emails or messages or in the evening. I'm kind of an evening person. Um, I do my workouts oftentimes in the evening. And then, you know, so I will spend not a huge amounts of time, but, you know, I try and carve out 15 minutes, half hour every day just to kind of check in with people or follow up with people um, or post things in my challenge group. So 
I don't. So how, many, how many hours a week now do you think you spend on your beach body business? Like average? Average, that's a good question. I would say, um, you know, I probably try and spend a little more time on the weekend when I have a little more time. But uh, if I added it up, probably less than 10 hours. Okay. So not so, maybe an hour a day ish. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I find that, and I know when I was working, when I was still at the bank, the, the work per se, a lot of times was just conversations that I was having that quite frankly, I always thought, well, I'd be having this conversation with this person anyway, but we'd probably just be small talking about nothing where now my conversation serving a purpose. I'm helping them at the same time I'm working my business, but it, that's what, kind of what I found is I'm like, well, is this, I, I, I looked at a lot of that type of work is I'm like, right. is this really work? It's not really work. I'm having a conversation totally. with somebody. Exactly. The is, I mean, here's, the, here's the link that they need and boom, you know. Right. And, and, and it, it, that's exactly it. I mean, I wasn't, didn't feel like it was taking up huge amounts of my time or away from other things. It was just sort of like, hey, you know, do you want to meet for lunch? And let's talk about this a little bit. And it was often friends of mine I would have met for lunch anyhow, or colleagues of mine that I would have gone out to lunch with anyhow. And then, yeah, it just sort of shifts the nature of the conversation. And did you like, so that, you know, so obviously there's the, the financial benefits of growing a business, having a little side income, all that stuff's great for you. How about, can you speak to the kind of what it did for you to help, like the feeling that you got helping people out in that way and kind of maybe being in a role that you hadn't been in? How did, how did, how did that like make you feel? And well, it was, you know, that very first challenge group that I ran, um, I had a lot of, you know, friends, coworkers, people who met, most of whom are people who work full time. And it was just really people, it was so rewarding just to hear people saying, thank you so much. This has really helped me. This is, you know, people losing pounds and inches and sleeping better and feeling better. It just really made me feel wow, this, this is great. This is awesome. And I mean, I've never been in a position to feel like I could impact so many people um, in such a profound way. Um, it was, it just really made me feel good and made me realize it was something I wanted to be part of and stick with long-term. Um, you know, and I just plan to do that. How has it helped you with your own personal fitness? I mean, do you feel that, you know, Molly spoke a little bit about like that extra accountability and hey, I'm a coach. So, yep, I got to get my butt up even if I don't feel like it or I got to, nope, I'm not going to, I'm not going to throw down on, on this on the weekend and eat too much of this. How has, how has coaching helped you with just your own personal? Oh, it's, it's helped a lot in part because you just sort of feel like, I mean, not that I don't go out and eat a burger and French fries now and then or drink beer, or, you know, I mean, I, Everyone has to live their life and really? everyone has to decide. <laughs> everyone has to decide, you know, how are you gonna, yeah, are you going to stick to this eating plan 100% your whole life? Absolutely not. I mean, you have to enjoy life. So for me, I think it was, it's helped me find that balance because in the past I would try different things and I would stick to them for, you know, 10 day cleanse. And then I would just go back to eating the same crap I ate before the 10 day cleanse because I didn't really have support and accountability. I did my thing and then I just, fell back into my old patterns. So I think the coaching aspect of it really helps because you feel like, hey, you've got other people looking to you. Again, not that I'm perfect and not that you have to be perfect. And I think that's what really helps other people feel motivated and supportive is that they see, hey, Lara Herman, she's my coach and she's out there eating a burger and fries and drinking a beer. But guess what? She did her workout today and she's going to do her workout tomorrow and she's going to get back on track on Monday. So I think it it helped me really find that balance and be real and be honest and not feel guilty. I mean, I think every other time I've tried to lose weight and been successful at it or whatever, it's, you know, there's like this guilt that comes with it when you go back to, if you eat something that you're not supposed to. And I think the 21 day fix was really great at teaching me uh, and me helping teach other people that, you know, you can have, cheat meals. You can, you know, you don't have to live out of these containers for the rest of your life. And I think people get overwhelmed. And for me, it helped really, it does help me stay on track because I feel like, Hey, I'm trying to set a good example for other people and motivate them and support them. And I, you know, 
I think other people have said this too, when you're running a challenge group, I will post in my challenge groups, hey, I don't feel like working out tonight. So somebody give me some motivation to get down to my basement. And then everybody chimes in and says, go no. do it. You can do it. You know, you just kind of feel like you have a support group. I mean, our larger gym is great for that too. Even my own challengers, some of whom are struggling themselves. I look to them for support and it just kind of shows we're all in this together. So from a business side, so just because I know where you're kind of at with your business. So you've put in on average about an hour a day and you are, I believe one coach away from being a diamond coach, right? Yep. So you have, without having to be gung ho, I want to do this all the time and spending hours upon hours every day. You've been able to keep this business as a part-time business of something you enjoy, but keep it in its box. So it's not overwhelming. And you've still had success. You're almost, you're almost to the rank of diamond. You've obviously generated, I'm sure, some financial success from it. So, yes, that's true. so you would sort of summarize your kind of your, your coaching experience. And if you, were to, if you were talking to somebody like you, who is, let's say they're, they're a busy attorney, but they have this desire to, to be healthy and be part of a team and maybe have a little, a little side business is something that they're really passionate about. When they, when they would, if they, somebody like that asked you your opinion on coaching and what you think it could do for them, what would you tell them in like one or two minutes? I would just tell them that it's a great way to have a community of support and friendships that I never thought I would find. I mean, I, I made some of my people that I consider to now be some of my closest friends are people I've met through coaching, some of whom I never some I've still yet to meet in person, some of whom I only met in person once. It's weird how... <laughs> We've you know, met twice in person now, right? Yeah. Well, you, yes. But I mean, so some I people met, I still met, haven't met. really met. But, you know, <laughs> you just find these connections with people who are like-minded or who are similarly situated. But I think what I have told people when they've asked that you can make it as much or as little as you want. And that's what I think the beauty of the coach business is. You can pour into it with the time that you have and you'll get something out of it no matter what. And, you know, you can find that balance. Um, it's a great way to hold yourself accountable and just stay on track with your own health and fitness. It's a great way to get a discount on all the new programs that come out and try those and the new products. Um, and like I said, it's just a great way to feel like you're part of something and you're making a difference. Awesome. Well, great. Well, Laura, Speaking of keeping things in their box, I have to go pick Alex up from school. <laughs> so, so our show is going to need to be over now. But, All right. No, but I really appreciate you sharing today. I think, honestly, for people looking at coaching, especially people who are busy professionals like yourself, I think it's a really, you know, it's a really good insight to how you can, how you can do this, get something from it, rewarding feeling, helping people, and, you know, a little bit of reward financially. We get to take some trips. Hopefully, you and I will be on the Success Club trip together next, what, next spring, spring of 2017. So yeah. I really appreciate you taking some time out of your day to, to share with everybody. For those of you watching this, if you have some questions, you know, maybe you're in a similar situation like Laura. You want to reach out to Laura? I'm sure she wouldn't mind you reaching out and shooting her friend request in a message, right? Absolutely. Anytime. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. So well, thank you, Laura. Everybody who's watching, thank you so much for, for tuning in. And, you know, if you have questions, obviously, just like all the other videos, just comment, comment below. And, you know, the more questions that we can answer here in a public forum, the better. So thanks for watching, guys. Laura, thanks for joining me. Thanks, Eric. All See right. You. you have a great day.